For this movement demo video, we're going to be going over the kneeling hip flexor stretch where we're going to be specifically targeting these upper fibers of our hip flexor here, <laughs> the psoas muscle, as it comes up into our spine. So for this one, we're going to get in a half kneeling position. We're doing the right side. My left leg is going to be out in front. I'm showing you this side first. I want you to see what's happening to my hips and my pelvis before we actually look at the actual targeted hip flexor here on the right side. So once we get into our half kneeling position, I'm going to take a big breath in, exhale, and blow all the air out. That's going to pull my rib cage down to my pelvis and take me out of all this lumbar extension, which is what a lot of people compensate with when they go into this stretch. We end up just dumping out into that low back and we no longer get after the targeted muscular group in the front chain, the anterior chain of the body, and we just put a lot of compressive stress on the lumbar spine. So this breath position is gonna pull the rib cage down. It's actually gonna tuck our pelvis up underneath us here a little bit, which is then going to predispose our hip flexor, the psoas muscle on this side. So we're gonna maintain a nice and neutral upright trunk, and then we are going to use that back right booty muscle to push the hip forward without dumping into the low back. We can go ahead and just come in and out of this for reps, or we can come into the position, feel the stretch, and maintain that hold. Think in 10, 20, 30 seconds before coming out of it and going again. There's a lot of benefits to both. I personally like to go in and out, just keep it fresh, keep it moving. <laughs> Get a lot of repetitions in here. Okay, and then on the last rep, go ahead and give ourselves a hold, really squeeze and tighten everything up and create a lot of stability around the, their end range. So, off the side, same thing. We got into our half kneeling position. <sighs> Rib cage comes down, pelvis tucks up underneath. We're then going to use that butt cheek to push ourselves forward, feeling a nice big stretch here up in front of the hip. You may feel it coming a little bit here into the adductor as well, but then we're just gonna come in and out of reps, really loosening everything up and then staying down there and holding for about 10, 20, 30 seconds on that last rep before switching sides. This is really a great uh, movement snack to go ahead and implement for times where you're just chilling, might be listening to a podcast, watching a TV show, where you don't really have to focus on anything too, too much. We can get in, get and move around down the floor and actually open up our hip into extension, which is a lot of people need.